All right, now Broadlight. Have a seat. Our male model. What's your name, man? This is our new model. My name is Kaysen. Kaysen. Come on out, Kaysen. All right. Kaysen, I want you to stand right back here. Kind of do it. Perfect. Again, turn towards the light. Okay. Look at the look right here. Like this is the photographer, that main camera there. Perfect. Simple body to the broad. It, it widens him. It makes him look tough. Kind of cross your arms. Put your hands in your pockets. There you go. Whatever you want. Yeah, that's just simple. That's a simple thing. And here's the thing, ladies. I want to go with ladies. So many times when I critique photos, women, when you're photographing high school senior boys or something, have such a hard time posing men because you pose them very feminine. And I don't care if you make everything possible that's technical correct, and the artistry is amazing, if he looks feminine in that image, he will hate it. End of story. And he kind of laughed when I said that because it's the truth. So don't overanalyze. If you are nervous about posing these guys, don't overanalyze it. Kind of put them in a pose to where the proper lighting that you want, and then let him, like I said, cross your arms and put your hands in your pocket. And he does it himself, that's going to be manly. And let it go. Let it go. Maybe fine-tune his hands, fine-tune his fingers a little bit, but don't overanalyze it. Don't, don't get him sitting, squatting down, and don't do all this other stuff that so many do, and don't have him put the hands up and the, and the hands on the chin over the face that they do, or the hands and the hair. I mean, it doesn't look manly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but people do that all the time, and it's not because they're meaning to. It's just that's all they know. And very much like me photographing a young lady, I do, I'm a little more hesitant. That's one reason why I don't like to use a flash meter, because I don't like to go up to a young lady with a flash meter and start doing this if they don't know me. It's a little, I'm, I'm violating their space. Now him, I can do a lot more with. It's just that natural thing. So, I mean, I even have, like this kid actually is a football player, and we were trying, he's the nicest guy in the whole world. Literally the nicest kid in the whole world. And we're trying to get a tough guy look, and he wouldn't give us a tough guy look. So I kept saying, give me your game face. Oh, man, I'm just too nice. I can't, I can't do it. I'm just too nice. I said, give me your game. And Susie's messing with him and everything else. And finally, I just went over, and I pushed him. And he just looked. I said, that's what I want to look. That's what I want. <laughs> and he went, oh. And, so, and then he did it. I couldn't do that with a girl. So there's, different, there's ways that you can do that with different guys and girls. So I wanted to bring up exactly what that simple, simple stuff. And that's exactly what this is the, my wife's image Lean him up against the wall, broad lighting, turn his face, and you got it. Very simple. Take a step off. Thank you. Also, on this shot right here, let me move this softball back just a little bit for right now. Go to the PowerPoint because I want to bring, make up a point on my PowerPoint. I know that's a bright light, so I want to get it out of the way. I'll use it in just a second, though, so don't, don't run it off too far. This is a very easy shot to do with wireless flash. And I do it all the time with guys and girls. A little bit different lighting in, in the um, shorter broad light. But I want you to see the shadow that's back here. You're not going to get rid of that. But you can hide it with angles. On a broad light guy, you can get away with it. The shadows actually add dimension, add depth, add um, a lot of detail and, and a lot of positives to it. For a girl, what I normally would do is I would actually shoot more this way, straight down the wall, and that way the shadow is here, but the camera angle hides the shadows. So many times, just like what we shot in the previous ses session section, um, where the shadow was on the back of the paper, I left it there on purpose because I wanted you to see the diffusion of how the edges were gone. That second shot that you saw a while back that had the softer edge, it was not near as noticeable in the whole scale of things as the hard edge. So when you have shadows, if you can soften up that edge, it's not going to be near as distracting to the human eye. So worst case scenario, if I get an image that I love and there's a hard shadow on their nose, I will go in and I'll just soften up the edge of that shadow in Photoshop. Again, it's not that I want you to do it, but I'm telling you how if, it, if it's there. I'm not going to throw away a great image because of a little hard shadow. I will soften up just the hard edge in Photoshop using a clone tool. There's multiple ways of doing it. And by taking away that direct line of shadow, the human eye hardly even notices it, and they go to what is a great image. Otherwise, they'd be going, oh, my goodness, look at my nose. It looks deformed or something of that nature because the shadow adds negative aspects to it. So with this, I would actually have the bride turn a little more 
or the girl turned her shoulder more to the, if the wall was right here, like where the TV is, I would lean them here instead of this way. I'd lean them here, maybe put their head on the wall, and that actually hides this distance here so the shadow wouldn't be there, and then shoot more toward down the wall so you would never see that shadow. So just know when you're thinking about placement and where this light's going to fall, it will make shadows. It's not like that beautiful giant softbox. It will make shadows. So you need to realize to do the posing to hide those shadows and then the camera angle on top of that. Does that make sense? Okay, I want to kind of want to stress that because that is really, 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 really important on how you pose and how you shoot and how you use these little guys. 